This is an ultrasound clip demonstrating a pericardial effusion with evidence of cardiac tamponade. A phased array probe is used as delineated by the shape of the footprint at the top of the screen. Notice the probe marker is on the right side of the screen here, which is the traditional cardiology orientation. Based on the structures we are seeing in this parasternal long axis view, the probe is placed along the left sternal border, approximately at the fourth intercostal space with the probe dot oriented towards the patient's right shoulder. Let's look at some important anatomy. The left atrium can be seen here. The mitral valve is seen opening into the left ventricle. Here is the aortic outflow tract. However, note that the image is slightly off axis, so the aortic valve is not visualized. The right ventricle can be seen here. Notice we also see a descending aorta, as noticed by this circular anechoic structure. Surrounding the heart, we can appreciate anechoic areas, which is consistent with a pericardial effusion. We know that this is a pericardial effusion since it tracks anterior to the descending aorta as opposed to a pleural effusion, which tracks posteriorly to the descending aorta. Not only do we see a pericardial effusion in this image, but we also see evidence of cardiac tamponade, which is demonstrated by presence of right ventricular diastolic collapse, seen here. The easiest way to demonstrate this is to slow down this clip and notice that the mitral valve is open, which is in diastole. The RV wall is seen collapsing. So if we pause our image here, let's move through this slowly. So as we move forward, we can see that when our valve is open, we can notice that the RV wall is collapsing down. This is during diastole and is right ventricle free wall diastolic collapse consistent with cardiac tamponade.